We begin in Anderson County this noon. Things were much calmer there this morning as the fiscal court met to discuss the Confederate statue outside the county courthouse. But what didn't get talked about? The violence that broke out following the city council's Monday night meeting about that statue. LAX 18's Claire Kopsky was there and brings us the very latest from Lawrenceburg. It's the big story at noon. Chris and Dia, the tone in the physical court meeting this after this morning was a serious one as about 20 members of the community gathered inside facing the county judge and the magistrates to talk about this statue. The first item on the agenda was in regard to whether to remove or keep the Confederate statue outside the Anderson County Courthouse. This came after a city council meeting on the matter last night. After that meeting last night, there was an altercation between a few individuals caught on camera, as you see right now, after witnesses say a woman told a black man she would hang him in her yard. Later, those who say they were hit filed a report with the police. However, nothing was mentioned about that during this morning's physical court meeting. This morning, 11 people spoke during the physical court meeting, sharing where they stood in regard to whether to keep or to remove the Confederate statue. 10 people spoke for keeping the statue. Their reasons range from not wanting to destroy history to saying it's not right to remove everything that people find offensive to one man saying his family members names are, are on the statue to others saying the men represented didn't know better, saying that they thought that they were fighting to protect their land. Hearing hear from one man who is for keeping the statue and the woman who is the only one this morning in the meeting who is for removing it. I don't think that, I don't believe that the statue out front is of racist nature. You had brave men that fought on both sides of the Union and the, and the, and the Southern uh, side. Uh, and both of them need to be, both groups need to be uh, memorialized. I feel like this Confederate statue is a tangible symbol um, of the systemic racism that we're seeing throughout the criminal justice system across the entire nation. Um, the fact that there are concerns that it will be vandalized and there are people who feel it's important to um, dress up and bring deadly weapons to protect it, I think is a testament to just how divisive it is. Um, and I really feel like it being on the courthouse lawn is just completely inappropriate. We also spoke to a young woman who was at the meeting this morning, but was also at the city council meeting last night. She says she was one of the women in the video that you saw just a few moments ago who was trying to defend her African-American friend who she says was being threatened. We'll have much more on that video coming up tonight on LEX 18. Back to you.